Hello, Fremont family. So we're coming to the end of this book, this letter to the Corinthian church. And today we're looking at 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And if you've been reading along in this letter, you know that this church has had a lot of issues, starting with division and a, a lot of questions, a lot of uh, events among the believers in that church. And I wanted to just remind us as we approach 1 Corinthians 14 and a lot of discussion about this gift of speaking in tongues, that this follows in an argument, it follows in, in a series of chapters in which Paul talks about this. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, he talks about the many gifts of the Spirit, but that, that it is all for one body. And then 1 Corinthians 13 is this beautiful chapter about love. It's bracketed by this discussion about the gifts of the Spirit, but in between is Paul's reminder, this beautiful reminder about love, and that love perseveres and always hopes uh, and it never fails. It's a good reminder for us as a, as a group, as a church, as a body of believers. But Today, with 1 Corinthians 14, remembering what has come before, let's also see Paul's admonition and challenge that everything is to be done to build up the church. Notice how that phrase is used two different times in this, in this chapter. To build up the community, to build up the community of believers in Jesus Christ. And for all of us, we should be seeking to know how God has gifted us, not simply so that we know, but that we would know so that we can play our part to build up the church. It's evident that Paul didn't want anything to divide the body of Christ, didn't want any sort of gift, didn't want any sort of issue to bring about division within the church, but to recognize that this generous God who we worship has showered gifts through his Holy Spirit upon the people so that, so that the body of Christ might be built up, so this community of believers might be built up. My challenge for you is this, what can you be doing to build up this community, this Fremont family? How can the love of Jesus Christ pour through you into all of us and so that we might be a witness to our neighborhood, our city, and the world? God bless you.